My name's Lex. That guy's Steven. And that guy's Brian. <laughs> I'm actually two. Okay, well, yeah. there's the recorded version. Oh, right there it is. There. Oh, I, yes. I'm, yeah. And bad. we are the Awkward Side Hook. <laughs> <laughs> I like that like you you did it away from the mic, but it's still like <laughs> it's still, everything. It still came in super loud. It's like yeah. an ASMR ass <laughs> like, podcast. Everyone's gonna think like William Hung uh, belch like a few seconds after introducing the awkward side. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so how are you guys doing? <clears throat> Pretty good. We're back, you know, after a, a week off and. uh excited to get the ball rolling again yeah uh we're i guess switching things up a little bit but not too much and trying to change try to narrow down our niche of the podcast uh and so what's the first what's the first thing we're getting into guys I was hoping Lex would say something you know my my, bra- my brain went blank so, so i believe it's the uh establishment question that we sort of posed um, a couple weeks ago of <clears throat> whether it be corporations or mom and pop shops or things like Walmart or this or that Chick-fil-A in and out stuff like that. Um, we all have kind of like favorite places to go to, to shop and eat and all that good stuff. But uh, sometimes these establishments um, have their overall greater political views and uh, they could be blatantly to one side or the other on occasion. Um, does that affect your choice to continue? Uh, f- f- um... So, so basically, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, you, I just shut you, down my battery right now. What What is your stance on, I guess, supporting <clears throat> uh, establishments financially that you do not buy buying also... their products? Yeah. That also don't support your same views. Uh, you know, uh, one that comes to mind very first would be Chick Fil A. Why? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, and, why? I, and I'm a big Chick Fil A fan too, as far as the food, obviously. And I think this is why this is a very interesting topic because mm-hmm. Chick Fil A sauce is delicious. Chick Fil A's yeah. food is delicious. Uh, the customer but service. They're, they're pro- 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 uh oh! <laughs> <For most laughs> on P. So we're gonna pause Brian there. That Thanos uh, is hitting Brian. Is it, the yeah. 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 All right. Brian, are you, I'm Brian. good now. Yeah, I you're think. good now. Whew. Brian okay. got hit by the Infinity <laughs> Stones right now. So my my <laughs> Wi-Fi is really shaky. So bear with me. Uh, but Chick Fil A is the one on paper that I would say is the one that has been the most outspoken on the issues they do or do not support. I would make the claim that most corporations silently do oh, not yeah, support certain things and i that, i guess like there's times where i'll look at like maybe my doordash or i'll look at certain things and chick-fil-a pops up and i do consciously don't order from there mm-hmm. uh but there is times where like my friends want to eat chick-fil-a or something and i join them and i enjoy the food <clears throat> why why don't you door dash chick-fil-a uh i do kind of feel in a in in a way like that they openly do not support certain things like same-sex marriage, and they're very, very openly anti uh, the homosexual movement per se. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do feel like I shouldn't support them. Like they they put that, but at the same time, uh, the food's pretty good. It was really close to Cal Poly Pomona when I went there. Um, I know a lot of my friends don't share the same views. But I, I guess a like, lot of your friends don't believe in same sex marriage. Or... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like I guess it just doesn't matter to some people. That's yeah. that's the thing. Like um, I do tend to, but I'll admit I've been there by myself too. So I, like the thing is I don't say like I don't eat there. I'm not taking like a huge stance. I am taking a half ass stance on it. And I I know that like there's some people who do take a, a legit hard stance on this. And I think that's why we're talking about it. Yeah, because I think Brian brought up a couple of interesting points in that um, a lot of these corporations probably do silently go one way or the other as far as not just their votes, but as their with their support, meaning money, right? But um, but yeah, who knows? Because maybe they publicly do one thing and then 
silently do another thing at, at times too. Because for example, the, the Black Lives Matter movement in response to all of the, the injustices and the major one with the George Floyd stuff that happened recently, like all the companies <clears throat> got on board, right? Because it was kind of a no-brainer as we explained in, in that episode that happened sh- uh, shortly after it. It was kind of a no-brainer. It's like, dude, like, yeah, choose, you know, not killing people who are who are like completely innocent um or but uh but yeah who who's to say all these companies that are posting like the black lives matter um text on their websites aren't you know secretly really going the other way right so for example chick-fil-a yeah that that's like uh i know years ago one of the big things is that they were they clearly were um opposing same-sex marriage and uh, I think they're probably one of the donors for Trump's campaign too in 2016 or something like that. Uh, as was in and Yeah, I'm gonna debunk you there. Um, <clears throat> I don't think the food places can directly give money to a campaign. It goes through like they packs through and things pack. like that. Yeah, I was gonna say it goes through so, packs. So in and out. And in and out was one of those, right? Yes, in and out threw some money at a pack that supported uh trump's campaign but yeah on the other hand but that's the trump, thing though uh, they it, that that's public information you know what i mean so it's like so it kind of goes back to brian saying is like well if we know this information and uh whether I'm you're left or right at chick-fil-a I'm still <laughs> well well that's the thing i chick-fil-a is one thing in and out's another uh mm-hmm. the thing is but like in and out doesn't blatantly go out and say i do not support x y and z they just say like we're this is the candidate that we i guess are throwing our money to. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't even think they say they throw their money there. They just do it. They just do it. Um, but at the end of the day, it is public information and they are, you know, they're talking with their money, you know. Um, but I think I think one thing that um, to realize is that it's not, I don't think they're sending their money strictly for um, their views, like that candidate's views. But mm-hmm. I think it's more so on the business side of we're going to save money or we're going to get some sort of kickback from this candidate if we support exactly. them. It's more of a business. It's more of a business transaction than saying, "Hey, I." Except for the Chick Fil A thing about the homosexual (laughs) or the same sex marriage, like it's more so I think to get kickbacks or to get tax breaks or to you know, and somehow benefit their business. And this this one, this is gonna. I I I hope I say this correctly because this might come off super privileged. Trump might is one of the universal i'm going to say that we're all people like you can see it is that trump is one of the first symbols as a president to represent a lot of different anti-values or values that people do or do not support like it's not covered by some political yeah. party or whatever it's like trump legitimately became a symbol of racism and yeah stuff and like that. that's why it's looked at a little differently when people contribute to his campaign and mm-hmm. not another former republican if that makes sense yeah because here's the right. thing presidents are usually presidential right that sounds silly but as we were kind of talking about the other week is when we saw obama and uh george w bush give like just like a, a farewell speech at a, at a eulogy recently um we were like oh man that, or like i i kind of mentioned i was like man that was kind of refreshing you know like like seeing like the former presidents like yeah they were they were not bad um but trump just clearly doesn't want to work with the left and you got to realize, like, at least Obama tried working with the right. The right just pushed back and, like, rejected everything the, the left had to say. You know, at least George W. Bush tried to work with the left. It, Trump is one of those guys um, that just does blatantly does not want to work with the other side. And that's causing a humongous divide amongst people. And I think that's why, you know, he, he's, he's being this, he is the symbol now for all, all these type of uh, anti things, as Brian was saying. So, like... To bring it back, though, to the original question, right. um, before we get too far into Trump, um, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, I'm not going there. I'm not going to Chick-fil-A because I care about what their views are. I'm going to Chick-fil-A for strictly food and the customer service. And so if I'm treated right when I go and the food is on point, I'm going to continue to go. Um, I don't care what they do with their money because that's their money that they earned or that they you know they're getting like that's their business whatever they do they do right obviously if it was something like you know their human trafficking or something you know um Mm -hmm. that might you know sway me a little more i think that's a little more serious view or a serious like action but um obviously everybody has different views and i'm not gonna you know 
say that they're the devil for having a certain view because i mean yeah sure it might not align with my views but at the end of the day everybody has their um, right to a view and what they want to support and so i'm not going to say oh i'll never eat here because of that at least me personally because i enjoy the food and i enjoy the service and i'm sure everybody that works for chick-fil-a doesn't have the same view as Mm -hmm. the corporation itself same thing for in and out like everybody there probably doesn't have the same view um, of what the ceo is doing Mm-hmm. just entry-level college at students that, you know most of the time and amazon too like a lot of amazon workers that i see on my timeline like on instagram and stuff yeah they're, they you know it's just it's a job you know it's it's a it's a it's a um it's an income but and, and, and to be honest like one of my stances <laughs> on it always because like like i said like most of the time i kind of cautiously like all right i'm not gonna get you play if i don't feel like i need it but sometimes i am in the mood and i'll, I'll get it that doesn't say like McDonald's and all these other fast food places or food places in general are not also doing the same thing. We just mm-hmm. don't know about it and, or don't feel, or, you know, mm-hmm. are just not open because, you know, chick fil is like we're closed on Sundays, you know, we're very, uh, <laughs> very Christian, you know, whereas McDonald's is a little bit more secular, but they can be supporting the exact same stuff. And McDonald's actually contributed to a pack supporting Trump. So. Mm-hmm. so and like you know at, the, at least with like in general in california if it is within california they have to follow california's uh worker laws and in and out's been uh even before a lot of uh worker laws had to be in, implemented in and out's always i think been very progressive with how they from what i hear i never worked at in and out Maybe maybe someone from In and Out's gonna watch this and go, you know, it's actual BS. But you know, from what I've heard from people, they say like In and Out's actually very good. They help uh, like student workers and. So I know a few people that worked for In and Out, and I actually did like a corporate tour of In and Out, and they kind of went over what they offer their employees, like benefits and things like that. And I think it's a it's a pretty good company company to work for. It has a good um, culture there, mm-hmm. teamwork and stuff like that, and. Uh, I think it would be a pretty cool place to work for, you know, your first job or, or something like that, you know? Yeah. And then like, I'm sure we all are going to work at places. Like, I know that some people consciously will be like, I shop at Target and I don't shop at Walmart, but you know, who knows that they support or do not support the same things. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just know one place has cleaner floors than the other. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Walmart's pretty clean, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's your privilege speaking right now <laughs> so one well okay so i i'm not saying this has never happened on target but i went to walmart the other day because we bought some knives online and we were to pick them up from the store right and we go in and this dad takes this paper from his son who's been waiting out waiting in line he goes in the back where like people are not supposed to be where only workers are supposed to be picks up a tv and goes this is the tv i have i don't know why i'm waiting so long and just like so yelling at people he's like do you want to see the paper you want to see the paper i'm trying to get the hell out of here and starts so yelling and he like i can see his son super embarrassed because he was just waiting in line mm-hmm. <laughs> to how- defend to defend that dad we don't know how long he was waiting and sometimes the customer service at walmart is horrible i feel like everyone was doing their job and he was just an impatient dad but I, again i don't know the circumstances of that it's, a, it's a male karen but, dude but, but, who, but, who, but who walks in the back like at least ask someone in customer service like hey i've been waiting a long, a long time can someone please help me yeah and i agree go, just go back there and be like this is the tv i had <laughs> hey, like, man. Who knows if you grab the right tv <laughs> exactly exactly he uh that's he a, had he was on a mission <laughs> i'm not gonna sit here and hate on walmart it's just like he was really, walking with a purpose man oh man that's wild so uh where do you guys get your information? Be more specific. What information are we talking about? Gossip, so you know, political, uh, sports, news, stuff Buzzfeed. that you should have heavy stances on. Play, where do you guys get? Do you guys get it from a news outlet, social media? Oh, I get my where, stuff from Facebook. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> your guys' face was like, ooh, too crazy. Like, oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> That's not the direction that we're going. <laughs> No, sometimes, uh, you know, when you see something on social media, um, whether it be Twitter or Instagram, Facebook, like, you know, you can, you can smell a fishy story, you know, mm-hmm. from the start, but, um, you know, I'll double check my stuff on the internet. Um, I don't really have like a go-to website because I don't know. It's like, you know, if you go to Fox news, obviously it's saturated <clears throat> to one side of the spectrum. You go to CNN, it's saturated on the other side. 
Um, so like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know where we can find something that's in the middle, something that kind of speaks truth and doesn't really have a bias on either side. So as somebody who, uh, I don't know how to say it. Because like, I was about to say, because I know a lot of Republicans don't like the New York Times, huh? I was about to say New York Times. Uh, From what I heard, the New York Times is actually a good source of, of news. So every time I had to do a project in college and I had to have a source, they always told me newspapers, like LA Times, New York Times, mm -hmm. whatever Times, especially specifically <clears throat> for the location you're looking forward to, is your better source of information. Because usually it's not jaded in a certain direction um but in general i'll be honest i'll usually my first look at what's going on is on social media and then i google and then i see if there's multiple sites that cover it before i start claiming if it's factual or not factual mm -hmm. i'm sure there's plenty of times on here that we said something that's not factual but <laughs> that's just because we uh just like a headlines maybe at times and we just talk about it but Hey, you know what, though? Instagram has never fact-checked us, so I'm just saying. <laughs> sure. Neither funny. has YouTube, yeah. so we're undefeated. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I guess like I guess we're, we're kind of getting into that weird, like, without bringing it up, but, like, fake news, that kind of, like, thing. Like, what is Does fake he, news? Uh, but, once, like, once that term was popular, popularized, I feel like whenever somebody doesn't like something that they're hearing, yeah. it's fake news. Right. The sun think, goes down at night. That's fake news. I, I agree with the you, moon that, comes up at night. That's fake news. Because fake news isn't about truth, like the truth or it being false. It's right? a political it's, spin. It, it's about like I don't like what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Like regardless if it's true or not. But sometimes there is fake news. Like sometimes some of the stuff is fake news. But mm -hmm. for the well, most part, it's I don't like what I'm hearing. That's fake. Exactly. I'll admit. Like I guess you guys could. If you guys have been watching Netflix, I know you could tend. I'm I lean a little bit to the left, uh, not a little bit, a lot more than I used to probably. But I'll admit, when I was 18 in a very, like 16 through 18, I'm not. I don't like to count 16 through 18 because I feel like I'm still in high school and I don't know anything yet. Yeah. But when you're 18 and you're and you can listen to the military or vote, well, you can vote. That's when you should be knowing your stuff. And I'll admit, I was 18 and I did not know my stuff, mm -hmm. and I pretended I did. I was a. I acted very conservative. I was trying to. Brian at eighteen would have bought a uh, Trump shirt or what? <laughs> I wouldn't be like to be honest with you. I don't know. Like, would you have gotten mad if people and followed you? Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't. To be honest, I I can't be. Was I was a stupid person when I was eighteen. I guess I'm just saying who uh, what I think of people. Well, let, let, them, <laughs> I don't know if you were stupid or immature. I would say more immature than stupid. Okay, I would say that maybe. Inexperience, you know? Because even though, like, Lex made up this point one time when I think we were playing video games, like, he said, like, even though we leaned a certain way, we did feel a little guilty or that we felt like we weren't leaning in the right way, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, Brian and I have, have gone similar paths on our, on our politics in that, yeah, same thing with me. I think as early as 12 years old, right? Like, I always... Um, was sort of dragged to church a new church with my brother and i became a, a became a born again christian so from like 12 to 18 or 19 same thing i would always like lean right and literally just because that's what the church you know what i mean mm -hmm. kind of like spewed and preached it's like oh they said this okay i guess i lean this way but like I, I mentioned to brian i'm like but during like you know back in those days what, what like 2005 2006 2008 um it was like hotly contested like oh is same-sex marriage okay or is it bad and it was like 50 50 right and that's so weird looking at back at it now because like now it's like well okay you know if <laughs> if you're a human then yeah it's, it's perfectly fine you know um but me and brian back then were conflicted with that type of subject because we were like okay if if we disagree with it we would definitely not shout it out from the mountaintop and that's what sort of what we're seeing right now with the trump era you know what i mean is that like Trump sort of like really revealed a lot of bad people, I'm not saying all people who are voting conservative are bad people, you know, maybe they even like a lot of conservative people are probably like how Brian and I were back then. And they're like, oh, man, like, I don't like Trump, but uh, I, I guess I like him more than the other candidates. So I'll, I'll, I'll just vote right rather than voting Trump. 
specifically or solely but um but yeah it's like trump trump really unveiled a lot of a lot of confidence of a lot of bad people for sure but um so like yeah like yeah we're not like a political podcast or anything i guess like what like agreeing to flex and kind of like where i was leaning toward is like i would sometimes have my stance and then look for the news or the articles or the facts to support to support yep. and not look at the facts and then have a stance on that and i do feel like i've aged differently to kind of look at the facts first and then have a thought on it than to have a thought first and then now look for the facts and i do feel like you get these news like whatever want whichever news channel you support Fox News doesn't make news for the liberal. They make news for the conservative. Mm-hmm. CNBC doesn't make news for the conservative. They make news for the liberal. Mm-hmm. And whoever, whichever one tries to be the moderate news channel will sometimes split both. But usually it's, it's, fu- it's funny because I- just to jump in here, because, you know, you guys are, you said what sides you're on. And I'm sure people are wondering, well, what, what side is Steven on? <laughs> um, I'm, I would say I'm more in the middle. You know, there are some conservative ideas that I think make sense. And there are some liberal ideas that I think make sense. But I mean, I think I lean a little more towards the liberal side, but I do find myself sometimes on the conservative side of certain um, arguments or debates. So um, I'm pretty, pretty in the middle. I would say I'm moderate. I like, I like the, you know, you just like, I think a lot of people throw themselves out there like, well, I'm independent. (laughs) and and, and i said that for years but i do believe like i'm not gonna lie like i probably full fully went left the last several years just because i feel like it's just like there's no how do i put it like there's no like room i think for like i understand the conservatives and there's things i am conservative on too i'll admit that but percentage wise it's so much more on the other end now it's, it's i i mean I'm, I'm registered as a democrat but that's not to say that if the right candidate from the other side was there um you know i might go the other way right and i, I i've been i told you guys this and i know we're getting a little too political now but I, I, <laughs> definitely like if someone like Mitt, Mitt romney ran again and if it was against a really bad democrat i would be conflicted <laughs> like i'm not being like if the is, right is, is joe biden a really bad democrat and the wrong dem no i don't i don't think he's bad i just don't think he was the i don't think he's enough to fix some of the stuff that trump has i think he already together. he hit his point at vice president and then because if you think about it like this like we needed someone that people want to give out and vote for and i don't mm-hmm. think joe biden's that guy that's the only thing like if people go out and vote then joe biden's fine but I wanted someone that people would go out and vote for. Who was and your candidate? It was Bernie, man. <laughs> Do you Burning think- Man? <laughs> the Bernie Man. <laughs> <laughs> was he the candidate where people would go out and vote for? I would like to see Bernie at Bernie Man. <laughs> <laughs> someone holding up a political candidate? From like- <laughs> was, was, he, was he the guy where people were going to go out and vote for? I think young people, yeah. maybe. I think a lot of people who are in the middle might be like, well, I don't know. But I think like if you're in a well, I don't know. And your options are Bernie Sanders and his VP and Trump. I think some people would be like, well, I didn't like the last four years. I'm going to do this. But I think a lot of people are now looking like Biden and Trump are just like the same person. And then some people are like, well, then I'm going to go back to my loyalty to the Republican Party and just do that. My loyalty to to the Republican, the emperor. (laughs) (laughs) So at the end of the day, um, basically what we're trying to tell you without getting too political like we did is make sure to fact check, you know, make sure that Mm -hmm. there's multiple sources that say the same thing. Um, There are definitely uh, news outlets that lean more towards one side of the spectrum. So um, obviously, you know, keep that in mind, too, when you're hearing news and uh, Facebook is not a reputable source. (laughs) So yeah, and it's, just because your aunt said on Facebook doesn't mean that it's true. Like I, or I sometimes it's the aunts who are disagreeing with you. <laughs> or, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not like, 
Well, I think we came out as we're a very anti-Karen podcast. But yeah. If there's a real person of Karen out there who's not a Karen, then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, no, not all but... Karens are Karens. Not yeah. all Karens are. But there's a equal. lot of Karens out there. Yeah. <laughs> not all Karens are created equal. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, this episode we're just trying to get more towards what we want to be. Um, we're a little more uh, relaxed and free, and not really trying to be so PC. I think in the first few episodes. Um, we we're trying to be very trying PC. To provide insight, like what do people our but, age think of these these tough questions? Right. So, which I think we're at the age where people are starting to develop their side of the, uh, which way they want to lean well, towards. Think about it, like we're or maybe mid twenties. I don't know. In my mid twenties, I didn't care. Right. When we've been able to vote, regardless if we have or not, for twelve years now. So. Uh, I don't know. You maybe you didn't reg- you weren't able to register in time, right? Because you have a late birthday, Stephen, right? I didn't get to vote in two thousand eight. No. So at least eight years, but you've been at least an adult for twelve. And I <laughs> oh, <yeah>? believe... <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Do smaller people not age the same? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad guy. So I was saying, like, uh, uh, Stephen's got one coming. We should we we should know it. I held it in. Too, but... <laughs> we should know a thing or two by this age, right? Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, I think also just in general, like the whole thing of like that topic was that, yeah, definitely do your research. And it's funny because that's kind of a phrase that you hear a lot, right? Mm-hmm. But for example, research is something that I didn't take seriously f- until maybe a few years ago, right? In, in, in college. And a lot of, you'll, you'll see a lot of high school. Oh, no, here we old, go high, again. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Say it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. It. I'm kidding. Don't uh, yell at me, please. Uh, men are talking. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's an insider. Uh, that's, a, that's a side story for another day. I'm sorry, Jesse. Uh, that, that was all my fault. We, we got into a dumb argument. I, but, uh, real quick before you continue, there yeah. was one episode where I told the viewers out there, I'm going to tell them again. Lex pretends to be the victim. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a really mean guy sometimes he he, he seems nice when you see him on the podcast or when you see him in the little videos but sometimes he can be a very mean guy yeah no no what it is is i just have like lightweight we still, anger. We still love him but <laughs> i just have lightweight uh anger let me talk <laughs> um that was an example no i have like lightweight anger management problems sometimes so there was like one year where i was like really bad like i would just blow up about every like sports argument or like every video game debate for like a year and then i calmed down for like like the past year and then over the past like month i've had like little spurts and like the jesse arguments one of them it was literally just like a a dumb little like lakers clippers debate you you know what's funny is like and that's another um thing about where do you get your information from so when it comes to sports you get your information from somewhere different than where we do. And I think that's where sometimes like we. It's sports. Uh, yeah. Sports is a different beast. Cause that's like, um, okay. it's uh, objective. Fox no, is no, okay in sports. Or... <laughs> it's objective. I think. Right. <laughs> yeah. subjective. But yeah, it's, it's opinion based. And, um, but, but I do think Lex now sends the Colin Coward stuff just to get us riled up. I don't think he actually <laughs> believes the stuff that's not. I think right. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. like he'll send a thing and i just get heated i like, think it's objective i'm sorry I, i'm thinking about this objective is no bias subjective no bias. is bias i mean we and graduated college right we should know this it's so funny because i was just about to make a point of like oh yeah a lot of high school or people from the high school days you know didn't go to college and like they always say do your research but they don't know how to do research well, he's calling and, out a lot of people man and, and now and now i can't i can't remember the i can't remember the difference between uh subjective and objective people are, we're gonna get 50. i'm just Un- unfollows and people are be vibing with them. <laughs> <laughs> that no, was I'm just Alex. saying because, like, here's the thing: Alex. when I was in high school, I was a horrible student. When I first attempted community college, I was a horrible student. I was just never motivated, right? So I didn't know what doing your research was even in high school, or even like until like a few years ago. So what we're what we were really bringing up this topic about was because at the end of the day, <clears throat> you'll see all a whole bunch of people on your timeline supporting these types of arguments and articles and then you'll see a few other people if you if you have them supporting the opposing view to to yourself right and both argue it to the death but the problem is sometimes one's looking it up at freaking like breitbart right and the other one's looking it up at a hardcore left website right so it's like you really have to 
Yeah, like <laughs> Antifa.com. <laughs> um, How many people need to get their news from the uninformed? Uh, the uninformed the topics. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So at right? the end of the day, just get it from the uninformed topics. Because you don't know. You don't know which way we're leaning. Sometimes we're leaning a little. <laughs> exactly. uh, sometimes we're, really sometimes we're just like, sometimes we drink a, a Stone Cold IPA. And we're just like, oh, man, I voted for Trump. <laughs> so, Lex, we're talking about your emotions a little bit. Uh, how do you feel when you get the you're going to hate me text? It's funny because that you really that's out of your control. I, I, was like, that not the, the best segue to the new topic? That, that like, was probably that was... not even the new Ash era. The, you, the you just went right into attitude it, Ash era. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. every Ash era, that was probably the best. Seg- uh, that was a headlock in downtown San Diego. Man, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm getting wild. I'm out here doing wrestling moves, but um, so that threw me off. I'm sorry. What was it? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> We're all like, this is more so to the male audience. Um, yeah, exactly. I, we can only share our perspectives, right? And like, right. But so when like you're, what men think, right? Right. When you're, when you're um, going back and forth with a chick, right? Texting, calling, whatever, kind of dating, and you guys set up a date, or you set up like your first time to meet, or you set up that time to meet where it's like that time to meet, um, <laughs> and then they hit you with the uh, "you're gonna hate me" text. <laughs> yeah. and like your mood definitely just coin flips to the other side yeah exactly right so, and it sucks though because from a guy's no, perspective yeah. you really what can you do you're just like no we're meeting it's like no, you can't, you're like is there they already canceled so it's like well not in the era of me too you can't meet anymore so well there's right yeah, yeah too where like we'll, <laughs> can't, plan, can't do that at all. we'll plan something <laughs> together regardless if it was like video games or we'll plan to hang out or whatever <laughs> And we'll even throw the the caveat like, well, I did technically set up a date yesterday, but we'll see if that follows through. If that doesn't follow oh, through, we'll exactly. Through. And it's because we know that we might get that you're gonna hate me text. We're we're, we're all almost thirty years old. Bri- Brian's we're, we're the king all... of uh, non commitment when it comes to video <laughs> games. When it comes to video games, Man, what was his nickname? Uh, I don't do any empty promises. Dude. Brian, <laughs> empty promises, Hammond. <laughs> That's right. I don't. I, I, I want to let you guys know, like, hey, you, like, leave a spot for me. But to be honest, there's a decent chance I might not hop on, and I don't want you guys to be mad. But yeah, I'm sure you guys get mad anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I think you know, it, it's it's half fun, half more mad. Yeah. So it's like half like ah uh, yeah. So like, you know, the the character is going. So let's you know let's roast it. Let's roast the character. Um, so before uh, I want to get into this, uh, text this has just been one quick. big interrupting podcast. All that's like all I know. I'm sorry. We all have something to say. We all have something to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, go ahead, go ahead. It, we've been just getting off on too many tangents, yeah. and I think we have a lot to say on this topic. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> go for. It. We have but, the time though. I have the the pro Zoom account, I think, because it's on my my college account. Damn, dude! For the past like three weeks, we've been trying to oh, hit the forty so minutes, and you've had the <laughs> yeah, pro this whole time. Yeah, yeah. We're all trying to rush the the end of the episode. I'm wild. Wow! Now. now I don't feel as bad as for cutting you off, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> so back, you know, back when I was a wild thing, right out of high school, you know, for a few years, um, my I just good pictured, friend, like Steven just getting down to like Rihanna songs now. <laughs> <laughs> my good friend brother, uh, brother. my good friend and i uh, from from, from shout your out country. shout out to juan in bakersfield or uh, manny as many people know him wow. um we used to throw hotel parties and uh obviously we had this thing called the lineup and uh you know you have your it's it's like a baseball lineup you have your you it's know like penciling <laughs> yeah you have your you know first person um your lead off then, you know, your second, your third, your fourth. And basically, you know, you try to fill up your, your whole lineup. And um, you basically just, we just basically went off our lineup. We'd say, hey, number one, like, you know, bring some friends. Number two, bring some friends. And then that way, if we got hit with the, you're going to hate me text, it was kind of like, all right, next person up, you know, who's on deck, basically. And um, I have to say, like, it couple times it came in clutch to have people on deck like <laughs> <laughs> i mean like anyone, now anyone now like... now i was like i'm gonna be 30 as a 30 year old with a family and, and yeah. a wife that i love very much um looking if back someone, at that if someone like, fast forwards it to like this part they're like oh they're talking about baseball again <laughs> <laughs> is that looking, this week's sports topic <laughs> looking, yeah, yeah. looking back at it like i i was a scumbag like <laughs> I was about to say, that's wild. I was, I was I just really, about to say like they could probably make like a documentary, like a Netflix documentary <laughs> of those days, or probably. We started writing a book, and it was basically like, "What is your role 
inside your group of friends. Like what is your what is your and I wrote three chapters That's not on my book. old com, I wrote uh, three chapters on my old computer and I lost all that. Mm. But basically it was like what's your role? Like what's Brian's role? Like we're we're a group of friends, we go out. Is he the one that's going to pull the chick to looks? Is he the guy that's going to be the funny guy in the group starting conversation? Is he the guy that closes and recommends, "Hey, let's, you know, take this party somewhere else like what is brian's role what is lex's role what is my Brian, role? brian's role is uh just was, sitting down in, on a chair and having like eight chicks just like dancing around him i saw the video to that i saw the video yeah. there's a video out there yeah <laughs> i don't uh, do much but, but it's on brian, so <laughs> brian can't really get too into it right now because he's got a camera watching him right now oh, so. well, 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 i went to downtown police <laughs> <laughs> Brian's I, I, like I'm cool sleeping outside tonight. I, I did. I, Better I, Wi-Fi I, downstairs. You know, <laughs> so my thing was always like you just dance like an idiot all night, and someone eventually is going to enjoy it. I'm a chubby guy getting down. You know that's that's fun. So <laughs> it is fun. I, I would go on stage uh, and dance, and then people would get off, go back on, and I kept on going up and down. And then one time in front of a bunch of people, they were just like waiting for me to do my next thing. I just grabbed a chair and sat down. On, on and then, like he, he put a chair on an elevated stage at like a performance venue slash bar. And it was like a Saturday night, downtown Fullerton, right? And, it, and like, <laughs> it was like packed. Everyone's dancing, like pl- plenty of uh, good looking gals. And Brian literally takes like a chair from like, not the bar, but like a table, like a dining table and puts it on the stage. And he climbs on stage to, and sits down, crosses his arm and just put like his one leg over the other. And literally just like, a big group of like uh girls right like had to have been like at least six or seven girls they're like Woo! They're, like they go up and start dancing like around him <laughs> for like literally like the entire song it was wild and brian brian hit the fortnite emote before fortnite yeah <laughs> <laughs> the cherry emote so yeah and the thing is like i don't know like if, if you just see like, a shoe hit him right now <laughs> <laughs> he ducks it like George W. Bush. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Like the, the "you're gonna hate me" text is like I feel like I've maybe even pulled that off myself too. I think I we always thinking, get to I was that. Just thinking about that, I was thinking about like I don't necessarily put it in those words. I don't think, but like I, I'll admit, I, I think I've. We always get to that point in the podcast where I go, you know what? But maybe we've done this too. Mm-hmm. And I, I I know, I, I've never used that exact couple, phrase. It's maybe a couple times. It's it's weird because, like, it, it's it's enough to be like a meme, right? Where it's like, oh, you're gonna hate me or this and that. Like, oh man, like, because we've all got that text, and sometimes it's literally the exact same phrase. Whereas I think what I'm kind of gathering from Brian's because I kind of relate to Brian. Like, I, I've probably done that type of text too, but I don't use those words. And I think what it is, we just straight up cancel, right? Which is kind of like a dick move. It's just like, like oh my I, bad. I we might just make an excuse. Yeah. yeah, but I'd rather play yeah. video games with the boys, you know. So. <laughs> And then one day I did it, and now I get shoes thrown at me. <laughs> Dude, Brian's wild. And, and now Brian's got to be happy, huh? What, so I was doing, I know, like, I shouldn't, but, like, it was funny. Like, I was doing the 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 Flow podcast, which is in, down in the dark depths of the Awkward Side Hug. That if you Damn, cross-promotion. You'll, you'll find it there. <laughs> it's on our page. I should have yeah, more right? yeah. uh, Steven yeah. and I didn't even know we uploaded there. I'm just kidding. Uh, huh? <laughs> I was talking to Baca and he was like, you know what? Bumble should send you money like monthly <laughs> for Yo. being like a successful story off of there. Right? Seriously. I, I just I just see Baca and Brian both freezing frames. Yeah. While they're well because <laughs> they're because they're internets. Oh man. I don't even think Baca has internet, right? Brian is a <laughs> Brian is a Bumble success story, which I think um not today, but in the near future, we should get the whole success story. Yeah, the story and both yeah. sides. Yeah, that'd be that really cool. Stuff. I think we'd be down for that. Uh, what? At, the, at the start of the next episode, Brian's like, uh, "So yeah, so we're gonna we're, um, we can't do that." <laughs> <laughs> you have like a shoe in print, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like a Nike symbol. I review it. Breaking. <laughs> you review my forehead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, dude i think there's like a three-way lag now because like th- that's like the second like kind of comment or joke in a row that i said and there's like a huge pause and both of you are just like <laughs> 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 and like oh no was that was it not funny 
Oh, but then the laugh comes. Uh, so, yeah. Dude, yeah, it's wild, man. Are you guys ready for some uninformed topics? Some uninformed topics. So, like, you know how we were saying you got to really do your research and try to, f- if if not find an unbiased source, at least find see both sides of the story. Um, uninformed topics. This is this is where you, you should get your news. This is so basically <laughs> this is basically us seeing headlines, seeing videos on social media, not really doing our research, but just kind of giving our opinion on what yes. we saw. So yes. Right. So you know what we said earlier. We're going to do the exact opposite of that. So, Brian. Mm-hmm. And we doing it because we can. Yes. Right. So, what's number one, guys? Uh, I believe it's the A's. The Oakland A's against uh, the Astros. Astros, right? You know, f- fuck the Astros, dude. I was going to yeah, say, there's guess. probably nothing that the Astros <laughs> could do to be, like, on the right side of anything. So, like, <laughs> Espe- Yeah, especially this season. Everyone's probably just like, hey, man, good job. The A's knocking, knocking, uh, knocking that guy to the ground. I yeah. watched it right before we got on. Yeah, so basically so, what it – Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah. So basically, so, did... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, freaking uh, the A's huh? <laughs> got plunked, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the batters got plunked in the back, and he was like, "Hey, man, he he has some sort of issue with like, hey, like you can see the arm motion. He's clearly gunning for me. Like if it's a mistake, it's good. Like he was kind of like arguing it, with the ump. It looked like he threw it right at his back. It was intentional. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't got to do my research on this topic. It's intentional, and Trump mm-hmm. is a bad guy. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, well, I'm not kidding. But it was intentional, and um, and so he, he's just kind of like flapping his gums, uh, like kind of everyone on the way to first, but whatever. And then he's starting to calm down. He's on first base. He's like, okay, whatever. What's done and done. But since he kind of flapped to like kind of everybody, like on the way to first, uh, one of the Astros like bench coaches was flapping his gums at, at the guy on first, and he's like, and so then he's like, okay, so like obviously. The guy just got plunked. It was clearly intentional, and he's still heated, right? So this random bench coach is like, "Dude, like, what the hell? You're gonna yell at me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at you." You know what I mean? It's like that, uh, that dog meme like where, where like they're they're walking across the street, like, "Hey, what's your name, Tony? <laughs> what's your name?" It's like, "Fuck you, Tony." Um, it's a Lex and Jesse conversation right there. Yeah, basically, it's the two dogs. Um, so basically, what happened is for some reason the bench coach is like well come here you know like he was egging him on dude he's like come here and he's like all right and yeah so the guy rushed the bench coach but he couldn't get to him because obviously everyone tackled him and it was like yeah do you guys remember when pedro martinez and that fat yankees coach uh, went at it oh, more more importantly the old yankees coach dude he was old that was yeah. wild yeah hey looking back at it i, I don't think that was right anymore, huh? if you <laughs> If you uh, in the league or on earth, like, <laughs> Dude, I, I think that's the way the old guy. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, you get, you're gonna flap your gums. You got to be ready for it. You can't. Yeah. Go and, and the bench coach is older, but he he looked like he was only in his forties, fifties, forties at best. Yeah, like as Brian said, the the old New York guy. He was like, dude, he was at knocking on. Uh, you got to pick your battles. The door. You got to throw your hands. You know, you talk shit, get hit, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that was the the Astros bench coach's fault. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. It's always going at this point at this point it's always going to be the Astros fault. Dude, it really is Astros. Are... Dude, oh, did you see that game where Jose Altuve literally made three errors in the same inning? Mm-hmm. Like fielding errors. It was so dope. Yep, I'm happy. What's subjective? I'm just gonna have it. <laughs> so, just point point and laugh at him or Yeah. Who would you guys say is at fault? The batter who got plunked or the Astros bench coach? The uh, coach. I noticed the, the coach. batters are always I'm really upset, but they have every right to be. So I'm going to say it's the coach. Okay, yeah. So why is the, co- why is the right? coach? Right, because the A's player rushed the coach. Well, why is the coach talking, though, in the first place? Like, that's why, though. It's like, you, you do, you're egging him on. If the coach was just like, hey, man, just play, just play. Yeah. And yeah, then the I freaking guess. guy rushed him, then, yeah, it's the A's fault. The, the coach wasn't acting presidential? or the coach, Yeah, yeah. The coach was, like, handing charts and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how do you guys feel about the – or not how you feel, but the topic. The chart interview? Yeah, the chart interview. <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. It's it's created a bunch of memes, and that's all I can. That's all. I love matters. the memes, man. How do you feel S- about him sometimes... not giving back a statement about what's your face? Oh, what an oh, idiot, man. man! That was his golden opportunity to be like the usual con artist, spin artist that he is. And that's the one thing I'll give Trump credit for is that he knows how to, like, he he could just be like, oh, you know, like she's a good person, right? And then like everyone's like, hey, well, she's also a pedophile. Why'd you say that? Um, and then Trump could be like, oh, no, no, that's not what I meant. I meant this. 
And then all of Trump's followers will be like, see, he meant that. So Trump is a spin artist, con artist, and he's great at that. But in this interview, the guy straight up gave, like, hey, you just wished a pedophile well. Uh, are you sure about that? That could have been his way to spin out of it. And he was like, oh, no, no, I I'm not backing down from that. Yeah, I wish her well, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, oh, Trump, what an idiot. Like, if you're going to, yeah, what an idiot. He, he basically <laughs> is like, I don't know if I want to get too much into conspiracy or whatever. He yeah. basically just said, though, he was like, well, my boy Epstein uh, died in jail. So I think that might happen to her, too. So like, I'm, exactly. just, I'm just wishing her, like, you know, hey, let's not have that happen to you, too. He's like, I don't, I don't want anyone to die in jail. I was like, hey, come on, man. <laughs> well, just say she's a bad person. Jail because of him, too, I'm sure. So, mm -hmm. Dude, that's wild. But, dude, the memes are freaking hilarious. Oh, my gosh. Just, just, just watching the interview, it was very cringy and very, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, but no, no, you have to read this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right, yeah. And it's so funny too. Like, not to keep taking shots at people, but like, I've seen like one person in particular like watch the whole interview, and they're like, oh, like the interviewer looks like he, like he, he's an idiot. This, that. I was like, bro, you're trying so hard to like be a trump fanboy just admit it like he looks real bad in this one like sometimes sometimes your favorite people just look bad and you gotta see that yeah, and dude, yeah. when like we know, like, like exactly video. like going back to the biden thing like dude he, he's a freaking idiot as well <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. it's, it's 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 crazy crazy world biden, biden can punch me in the face the day before the election and i'd still be like all right well you know i didn't like that but <laughs> yeah i didn't like that exactly i'm not gonna be like oh no no i mean you know by punching me in the face it makes me a stronger character man see democrats you know like no like he punched you in the face like you know f biden but i guess i'll vote for the for you know anti-trump but f biden if, if he punches you in the face you know I, I think you're allowed to say that as a trump supporter if mm -hmm. trump is like hey i'm gonna wish a pedophile well hey trump like you know, as a hypothetical Trump supporter, you can be like, hey, that's not a cool move. Mm -hmm. But instead, they all try to spin it just like him. But that interview, yeah, that was a shit show. <laughs> this is the, probably the most we've ever brought up Trump in a single episode. Yeah, we've, yeah, yeah literally the entire episode. First, we were stuck on COVID. It. Then we got stuck on the NBA bubble, and now we're on Trump. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and we're not a political we podcast. Just, we, can't, you know? we, can't just, and we can't let things go. At yeah. this point, we're just going to uh, call this, we're just going to have to call this the political episode. <laughs> <laughs> basically that's all we mentioned. <laughs> oh man uh, oh bad so what do you think ellen is so lastly a... ellen DeGeneres is a bitch <laughs> basically <laughs> yeah. is is what we're imagine if there's that? no allegations yeah, yeah, yeah. you just said that <laughs> oh, i mean like if the if the shoe fits wear it right um <laughs> That's 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 the word around town, right? I mean, I saw a crazy. tweet to, earlier today that it was it was a joke, but someone posted that like, oh, I went to one of Ellen's shows and this intern got her the wrong coffee, and then all of a sudden it goes quiet and you hear like a gunshot outside, and she goes, "That's, that's nothing, so guys. Just move on with the show." And y'all just did. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I I believe it. Like I, I wouldn't so, doubt it if it's true. Is it basically she just treats her workers very poorly? Or something like something that. So, supposedly, that? she's just a bully yeah really. she's just mean to you yeah and if you're not like a, a guest on her show but if you're exactly. like you know but a worker the guests only see the guest part of the show that's on air right so like that's why like the kevin hearts and the ashton kutchers of the world like oh we've only ever had positive experiences it's like well of course because you're a freaking celebrity like the the, the, the the rumors right. are that ellen's bullying like you know her actual employees under her um which is crazy and it's you know what's crazy i i there's like a fly my bad um i i wouldn't doubt it was true i i believe it i you know like i, I feel like there's, there's enough yeah i think so i don't think she eats at chick-fil-a though <laughs> that's hilarious so. <laughs> but uh <laughs> chick-fil-a treats treat their workers probably better <laughs> right no i I, be I believe you know i i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if it was true but i did hear like a pretty good argument of the uh like the the flip side of things of if it is true it really isn't illegal to be mean. You know what I mean? So why should Ellen's show be canceled? I, I don't think it should be canceled. I don't think people just have this perception that she's this really nice person. And then all of a sudden you find out that, you know, her, Put it her, this pants, way. her pants are on too tight every day. Well, here's the thing. She's like, it's like putting her show on like an indefinite hiatus for now. It's like Santa Claus. Okay. If you're under, you know, <laughs> are you comparing Ellen to Santa yes, Claus? Yes. Because oh, yeah. remember how you felt when you were told that Santa wasn't real? just kind of the deception the oh my god like this yeah you do think about it a lot that white guy doesn't really bring me gifts 
Like it's sorry, been my sorry, parents. Man. It's been a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, don't talk about Brian like that. <laughs> it's it's basically been my parents this whole time. You guys played me. You played oh, me. Dang. You played me. How can you, I trust your, you? Your parents were that fat white guy bringing you guys? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And, and my my dad's not that white, so. Um, but you know, are, are you gonna and, are you gonna uphold the tradition? And uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna yeah. uphold the tradition. I might have a black Santa. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Banner claws. <laughs> <laughs> Homie claws, dude. Homie um, claws. So it's like, you know, all these people that are fans of Ellen, it's like their false perception of her, like that that glass wall is just shattered. Yeah, yeah. And they see the real Ellen, right? The two-way mirror is shattered and they see the real Ellen. And it's like, it's a little disappointing, you know? Like, yeah. it's sad. I mean, at the very least, you should definitely she's have some sort of... She's technically like Santa Claus. She gave away a bunch of stuff during Christmas. That's so, true. That's I true. mean, you know. At the very least, she should have some sort of like introspective, like, you know... Uh, analysis of herself like hey like you know we got to change something here but i don't think like the internet should force her to like ruin her life because of this you know i think Um, well you know she's well definitely i don't think her show should be canceled because she's mean Mm -hmm. but i I heard that there was other allegations like worse allegations yeah there were yeah yeah so i'm not sure if those are true but some of them are like racist sexual yeah racist sexual harassment Things like that. But these are from the old white guys that produce the show. So Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's probably why her show will get canceled. <laughs> Us white guys, we just can't even do anything, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, you strip this land of its indigenous people. I mean, what do you... You're wild. I have that white guilt, man. Don't worry about like, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I wake up with that white guilt every day. So Dang. I, you that's all I can do. That. I can't... I can't unless the time, I find a time machine and just go back to people. You got like, to carry that dub G? Yeah. <laughs> <That's not true. laughs> white guilt. Like, I get WG right there. Like, what's that say? I'm like, that's, that's my white guilt. guilt. <laughs> like, oh man, wild man. I think but we wild. Hopefully, at the end of the day, she realizes that she's been a very bad person. Right? Yes. She's not so fun. It makes an effort to change. Yeah. For herself or improve. But here's the thing. Like, are people really going to believe her changing? Like, you know, like, oh, my God, like, I'm sorry, man. Exactly, exactly. Do you think she needs to address it? Like, if she were to go back she on should. television, she needs to address mm-hmm. it on television. Oh, of I, think course. She should say, I think she should say, you know what? I, looking back, I was mean to people, and I apologize, and I'm going to try to do better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, that, you, seems, that seems to work for everybody. If you're her exactly. team, how would you right. flip it, though? I would have the interns go on there, share how they want to share Hug it out at the end, and then by the next segment, everyone's gonna be like, "All right, now we got Kevin Hart." And man, you <laughs> are shows back to normal. You definitely got to get the dub G on your neck, dude. Shows, shows back to normal. <laughs> he said, "I hey, gotta get that PR." He said, dude, "Get hey, the interns." Ellen, Ellen has Hug to get the dub G tatted. Hug him. Yeah. Hug the interns. <laughs> <laughs> then bring Kevin Hart on. <laughs> like, dude, oh, yeah. wild. Kevin oh, Hart's another one, dude. Like he's he's the same character in every <laughs> damn movie. Did you know there's a movie called Die Hard? Oh, yes. Oh, I, yes. I love Kevin Hart, and I saw that trailer. I was like, no, what are you doing? Again, Kevin Hart's the same character in every movie. I love his comedy. I don't like the movies. I don't yeah. like his, his movies. I'm not going to lie. He, Except he for that one with Will Ferrell. That one was pretty hilarious. The one with The Rock was pretty good, too. Yeah, those two actually. I, that one was actually really good. You too. said the Sorry. one with the rock. Be more specific. There's like four different rock. No, with right. Kevin Hart and the Rock. Yep. Central, <laughs> Central Intelligence, I think it was. Central oh, Intelligence okay. was good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but I forgot they're like best friends and they only act together now. Yeah, <laughs> it's like that's the, they're always together in their movies now. So that's right. like me doing every project with Lex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, no man. The Ash episode was good. I'm like, what, what are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like ADO Ash. So basically, Alan needs to apologize on air. Trump needs better charts. Yes, and uh, bench coaches shouldn't egg on young, athletic, strong players to further to fight them. And, and unless you're doing Ash's uninformed topics, you should do some research on some topics. Yes. Um, and, and eat wherever you want. Yeah, eat wherever you want. There's one more, and. And okay, uh, as far as the you're gonna hate me text, should they just be honest, or would, would we rather prefer that? Because it's funny. I, I had one person be honest with me one time, and I was just like, oh man. And I was wait, like, wait, when you say honest, like give the example. What was like, their honesty? Like I'm not really feeling it, or you know what? Like I I, I don't think we should 
you know, like, I, I don't think we should go through with this date or meeting, you know, like meet up. That's why you just gotta straight have up like up. that. <clears throat> I don't, right? I don't, I don't mind that you're going to hate me text. I would just prefer if it happened like during the day and not like at night. Last second. You're right. That's the biggest problem with the, you're going to hate after, me text. Is after that you, it? after you already scrubbed your balls or like, <laughs> after I shed, yeah, like, ah, <laughs> right. it always happens last flowers second. I didn't want to. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It always happens. You, you buy flowers like for the first couple dates. So. No, I, I yeah. probably have in the past, but I, I don't. Simpler. I know for the meetup. <laughs> Simpler. <laughs> Brian probably uh, had a couple OnlyFans subscriptions too, or what? Ouch. <laughs> Dude, Do it's I funny because like, like maybe I should create an OnlyFans for me. Like you know, people would come on, see me. Uh, it's just gonna be Brian guy. naked on a chair. <laughs> like, it's gonna be Brian uh, in in the. In the uh, somebody that I used to know paint in front of that wall. <laughs> so we were talking about this on the pre on the pregame. Uh, <laughs> like Brian's back wall, like makes like everything pop out so well. Like man, Brian looks good. You know, like it matches him. But we were saying like, it looks like like if he was like shirtless, he would just blend in. It would just be like eyes, and uh, it kind of looks like the uh, okay. The artist is like G O T Y E. It was a goatee or something like that or goat. But it, I like how song. you played that very conservative to not mess up. Right. You yeah, spelled yeah. out the name exactly. before you tried to uh, exactly. <laughs> say it. I like it. But, I, like it. <laughs> I did my research. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the somebody that I used to know. <laughs> We're saying like Brian looks like he's like in that music video right now. <laughs> oh, man, that's wild. <laughs> but, oh, man. Uh, oh, also, Brian finally got a mic. And I'm hoping that he sounds crystal clear this this episode. Oh yeah, he, he sounds nine day. Oh. oh, we're gonna have to cut that out. Dude. Right, okay, yeah, we're, gonna... <laughs> we're ending it here. <laughs> White guilt, right there. Fud. <laughs> 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 That's wild. That was awkward. I, I, Very yeah, awkward. That was awkward. <laughs>